welcome back to my channel again it's another Christmas video so this is more of a kind of smoky dark grungy Christmas night out inspire makeup look so I know tis the season everyone goes out with the workmates and I'm sure that your work Christmas nights out are coming up very soon some before Christmas some after but that does not mean that the sparkle has to end because either way it is running off for the Christmas night out so as I'm sure you're all obviously aware of at this point I love glitter I love sparkle I love metallic so I've gone with like this oh, metallic liquid shadow it's just unreal and I can't wait for you guys to see how it applies I put a bit on and then I fell in love and I just went <laughs> overload so this is a cool tone makeup look you know this is not the type of things that I'd usually go for, I don't usually do cool tones, but if you do want to see how I achieve this, please go ahead and just keep on watching. So I just want to like apologise in advance for the noise of this chair, like it squeaks all of the time. I just want to jump in, so let's just try to get past that, okay? Maybe I'll get another chair, who knows? <laughs> Probably not. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Instant Eye Eraser. This is in 01 Light. And I'm gonna prep my lids with this. As you know, I'm not a primer gal. And I'm just gonna use my MSQ brush, 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 <laughs> to blend that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Rimmel Stay My Pads to set this. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Contour Brush to pat it all down. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Zoeva Glam All Night Long palette, which is this one. I'm just obsessed with Zoeva palettes, honestly. Like, I feel they're not talked about as much as they should be because they're unbelievably great quality. Like, I know people rave about the brushes, but these palettes, like, not even the big ones, like, the smaller ones, they have so much to offer and they're of, like, amazing quality. So these are the shades that are inside this and they're really just beautiful. But the shade that I'm going to be focusing on is the one called Harmless Kits. I don't know. It's a German brand, okay? It's this one over here. So it's a nice grey shade. I'm going to take my Morphe E22 brush, which is this one here, to apply that product. So I've got that nice grey shade in my crease so now I'm going to take my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to take this periwinkle kind of shade and I'm actually going to blend it out with that. Um, I just imagine it's going to look nice and I feel like because grey is quite a cool tone colour and we're going with a gunmetal lid that a periwinkle shade it's like a cool tone purpley blue so it might just be the nice blend that we need to add a tiny bit of pop of color to the crease shadow brush who's it by it does not say oh it does it's by sephora <laughs> it's the sephora crease shadow brush now I'm gonna go back in with the first grey shade that I put down and I'm gonna take it on my Morphe E117 brush this one here and I'm gonna start building it on the lid now I'm gonna take my Morphe M321 brush which is this one and I'm gonna go back into that periwinkle shade and um also, I'm going to pop this onto the lid. I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease a little bit. Not majorly, like I'm not doing a cut crease. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just want like a little clean cut where I'm going to apply the liquid metal. So I'm taking the P. Louise base and I'm using the shade Rumor. I'm taking a Zarea flat eyeliner brush to apply this. And now I'm going to go in with this Catrice, it's the Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Shadow 
and I've got the shade less bitter, more glitter. I am obsessed. I'm just gonna take my finger and like blend the edges. Wow. I'm just like in shock. I actually want it all over my lid. <laughs> So now I'm going to take that E17 brush again and I just want to blend through the crease slightly with no additional product on. I'm just going to take my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm using my Morphe M217 brush which is this one with a nice bend and I'm going to use that to apply my liner. I've changed my angle and I'm going to go for a wing. I know, what the hell, Ellie's doing a wing. Um, my little method for this is I use sellotape, stick it on the back of my hand to get some of the sticky off because it is your eye area, like it's very delicate. And line it up. Just like that. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner Crayon Eyeliner in black. This is really nice, actually. I really like it. Um, my brush's gone a little bit stiff on the other one. Maybe it needs to go clean, but yeah. yeah I'm literally just gonna follow the solidity. And then whilst that's still on, I'm gonna take my Morphe. M213 brush and in the Morphe palette I've been using I'm going to take this dark shade at the very end this chair won't stop squeaking and I'm just gonna blend the outskirts of that wing with this just to smoke it And now, peel away. I'm gonna apply my Max Fax 2000 Calorie Mascara. This is my fave ever. So I'm just gonna pop that on my lashes. Because this is like a night out inspired makeup look, I'm going to use my false lashes, my Peaches and Cream number 33 lashes, which are these ones. They're really full. Um, I think these are like the foaming. Does it say? It doesn't say, but they're really, really nice when they're on. So I'll pop those on. I also use Duo Glue, Quick Set, Strip Lash Adhesive in White Clear. So I'll pop these on and then I'll be right back. So for my foundation, because obviously this is a glam night out look, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty foundation. Mine is in the shade Amoretti. Um, if this will match my false turn, we shall soon find out. Um, it looks like it will. It looks alright. So what I do when people are always like, why do you use your fingers? I use my fingers first because I find if I dip straight in with a brush and apply it directly onto the brush and then onto my face, what's going to happen is a lot of the product's going to soak into the brush rather than on my face and I want the most out of it on my face. Like, come on, I want coverage. I'm going on the night out. <sighs> I'm not really what you are. <laughs> And then I leave myself, this is a hot mess, a tiny little bit of product so that if I need any more, I can dip back in. I 
literally like tangerine so I think we better get some concealer on this face I'm using the Morphe C165 concealer like I mean let's brighten this up a lot I love this it's nice it's full coverage but it's still not like um it's not drying on my skin like it still feels really nice on my skin I'm being very generous with this concealer given the colour of my face. I'm just going to start with under my eyes and then I'll like work my way to the rest of my face. I'm using that same foundation brush by the way just to do like the bulk blend and then I'll use the smaller brush I used on my eyes earlier to do like close to my eyes. And then I'm just going to set that under eye area again with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, just so it doesn't crease. I'm going in with my Rimmel Instant Age Eye Eraser for this whole area just because obviously I want to lighten it but this is a nice one like it's not, it's full but it feels like nice and hydrating on the skin. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques Angle Multitask Brush and I'm just going to set my face with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my brows on. I just use my NYX brow pencil in the shade Espresso and I will be back. So I'm back, my brows are on and I'm taking my Morphe Debutante Bronzer. I actually use this to contour because I, li I like it to contour. <laughs> So I'm just going to dip my Real Techniques Multitask Cheek Brush. Don't know how this is much different to the contour brush but hey ho. I like to create like quite a harsh line and then blend out afterwards when I'm doing contour so just bear with the process. Now I can start to blend it. So one for Christmas is an arm fleek cheekbone. I also blend it into my temple. Just because I like a bit of structure here too. And I just blend that down. And then you can take it onto your forehead. So like this side got structure and this side don't. And I'm also going to apply it under my chinny chin chins and do the same on the other side. What I do is I always keep my OG brush handy, the one that I use to set my face, because I like to just pat over it. This may seem like the world's most unnecessary step, but it just makes me feel better because I feel like it looks more skin-like and you're making sure it's blended. We contoured. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and I'm going to use this to bronze. I love this to bronze because it's not too orange or anything, it's just nice. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Bacon Blot in the shade Banana Light and I'm going to use my Morphe E49 brush for this and I did not tell you but the bronzer brush I was using was the BH Cosmetics number no. 1. I love this brush and um, when I picked it up the girl was like oh it's so good for foundation and I'm like I'm 
gonna use this under my eyes <laughs> just because I feel like it fits perfectly into the shape of my eye so this is just to brighten that area so with the look being quite like a cool tone eye makeup obviously I, I want to keep that within the theme I want a cool tone blush so I'm going to take Fetish by Urban Decay to the shade here it's like a nice more cool tone well, more of your shade really <laughs> smile babe So I'm going to go and highlight and I'm going to use my Morphe R36 brush and I'm going to use Champagne Pop to do this because I'm just obsessed. So you may know this already but I use Set and Spray before I highlight just because I find to get maximum impact from my highlighter when I do this first. So I'm just using my Morphe Set and Spray. I'm going back into the eyes now because I just really want to get that lower lash line sorted. So I'm going to take that original um, Morphe shade that we used. And I just want to apply this all the way across the lower lash. But there's a deeper purple shade. So there's the periwinkle, there's this one and there's this one. I'm going to take the one below the periwinkle shade on a Morphe E36 brush just because I want my lower lash line to be quite purple because we kind of lose it a bit in the top and I'm just going to apply that a little bit closer to the lash line now the eyeliner you use on your waterline is up to you I love a nude eyeliner but if you want to rep black you rep black or colour. The shade that I smoked my liner with from the Morphe palette earlier, I'm going to dip back into that on the same brush as I used to do so. And I'm just going to smudge this really close to the lash line. I'm going to take my Zoeva palette, this is the MAC palette and I'm just going to take my shade that's heavily hit and pan, this is my fave. And just take a brush that's got no product on and blend it out. I'm going to take my LMX lip liner, this is like Little Mixers brand and honestly these are pretty decent. Um, this is in the shade Rose Blush. And then I'm going to take the cream lipstick by Morphe in the shade Fevs. That's so pretty. Oh my god, the cream finish is like gloss. But not at all sticky either. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. That is unreal. What? I was like fully prepared to like look for a gloss that goes with this, but I mean, I don't even need it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really, really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button down below. So please keep tuned on this channel and I will see you next time. Bye.